Hey y'all, it is Georgie from GSD Solutions here with another tutorial all about Zoom. So in this tutorial and more of a review, what I'm gonna be talking about is Zoom's new AI features. So if you go to their homepage, you may come across this where it says like AI, that makes you more productive, efficient, all that good stuff. But you're probably wondering, how do you actually take advantage of Zoom's AI? Because everything has AI now, right? Everyone wants to know how to use it, how to best benefit from it, and what it can do for their business. So let's dive into that. So let's go and discover Zoom's AI companion. So if you go to their webpage, there's a lot of information about it and it's pretty cool. I learned more details about it by attending Zoomtopia, their annual conference, virtually of course. Um, uh, it's only right, right? <laughs> um, and what it talks about, right? So what Zoom AI does is helps you to take better notes, to better document the information that happened in a session. Because if you're in a lot of Zoom meetings or if you're just doing work, right? Work is work and you can take in a lot of information, but how do you then process that information and then make tangible steps out of that information? So that's where Zoom AI comes in to kind of give you that boost, give your team that boost to actually be more productive and take into action the information that happened in the session. So if we scroll down on their page here and let me move my little icon up so you can see these features. So it helps you to process the recordings better, right? Getting a, getting a transcript, getting the meeting summarized. So the transcript is always great from a meeting, but it's a bunch of information. It was a 40 minute long meeting. So the transcript is cool, but you need a summary. Like what are those key points that you need to be paying attention to? Oftentimes people use third party softwares that are integrated with Zoom or like the software follows you on whatever meetings that you're on. So having it already be inside of Zoom is super cool. Um, and you could add queries into the meeting, draft chat responses, uh, th summarize thread, draft email responses, the whiteboard. So Zoom's whiteboard is super cool and I'm gonna have another video about that, but it just makes it more integrated. Um, so that's the first part. So that's just me getting a little excited about the software itself. Now, big question, how do you turn this thing on and who has access? So the really good thing about the Zoom AI companion is that it is included inside of your pro account. So if you already have a paid pro account, shout outs to you. Um, and if we go to plans and pricing here, we can see that it's already included. And in the Zoomtopia conference, they mentioned, I think they said it's like, if you had Zoom or if you already got that account, like it'll be integrated, but like future accounts, it may not be. So get it now, you might be grandfathered into it. And so here we have the AI companion is included in the package you're starting from the pro, which is that like 149 a year. I think it's like 16 bucks a month. Yes. So that is a great plan to have nothing crazy. And if you have more needs, um, such as a business or professional, uh, a business pro account, it's also included. So for folks that have a pro account, which is the more, um, which most people have, it's included. So that's super cool. So now how do we activate it? Right. I know that's the part of the video that you want to get to. So how do we turn it on? So first thing that you want to do is head, um, to your account. So you want to go, um, into your account. So just get to your profile. You could type in zoom.us slash profile or click the little icon on the right and then select your organization name or your name. Then from the left menu, right? So I'm gonna show you which way not to do it, uh, which is oftentimes the way that we usually do things, but it's gonna switch it up. So you may wanna just go into settings and then go right over to where you see AI companion you may get this error where it says locked by admin. If you are the only person on your account and you are the admin, what you're gonna do is gonna go back to the left bar and you're gonna scroll all the way down until you see underneath admin. So find admin and you're gonna go to account management. So click account management and then there you're gonna go to account settings. So when you get into account settings underneath account management or zoom.us slash account, um, backslash settings. Then you click on AI companion from there. And here is where you'll be able to activate the different features and um, tools that AI companion allows you to have. So for emails, for whiteboards, for chats, as well as meeting summarization. So you're gonna unlock it here, enable it across your organization, um, select whatever boxes that you think are, that you see fit for your organization. And then when the individual user comes back up to settings, and then they go to AI Companion, it'll already be activated and it tells them the features, um, as well as if you just wanna unlock it, 
uh, I know I'm moving a little bit back and forth here. If you want to unlock it all the way, just go back to account management, account settings, and then AI companion. And then you could click the little unlock button. So that means that anyone in your organization could adjust this setting. So if you have multiple people under like a bigger organization um, Zoom account, then if they go to AI companion, now anyone could adjust just that setting so that's super cool so now you have access to that so we've set up ai companion um and you could do it to automatically start for all meetings that you host so that way it'll create that um ai have the ai inside of the meetings with you if this video was helpful for you go ahead and subscribe to our channel and if you ever need any help with integrating tech tools or developing developing systems for your company head on over to gsdsolutionsinc.com everything is going to be down below in the description and chat with us today. We'll see you in the next one. Bye.